All right, I'm glad you're here to check out number four. I'm actually going to give you a bonus today. How exciting does that sound, right? Um, I know that two of the factors are these guys here. So I'm going to go write them down so I know that I have these two guys here. Say I had a number like 36. I know that two goes in. I also know that threes goes in. So instead of dividing it first by two and then dividing by three, I could just divide by six in there. So let me say that again. I could divide by two and then take my answer and I divide by three, or I could just straight up divide by those guys multiplied together and six. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and multiply these guys together and then I'm going to divide it all at once and see if we can get this. So first of all, I'm just going to put in these roots that I have so far. We have a one and we have a negative three. So I'm going to multiply these two guys together. So x plus three and x minus one gives me what? x squared minus x plus three x and minus three. So we get x squared plus two x minus three. And I'm going to take that guy and divide it into um, the whole thing, which is really nice because then I'll have already divided out both of those guys all at one time. So cool. Now, can you divide by that and then take the answer and divide by that? Absolutely. And you guys have lots of videos available to show you that method. But here is a bonus for you. And we're going to go ahead and check out what this would look like here. So. I'm going to do uh, my division here. So I've got my x to the fourth. Got to bring that up. This would be left with x squared. x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. And then I also have negative 3x squared. So I need to have negative x cubed, and I have a positive 2, so I'm going to do negative 3, because then those two will combine to give me my uh, negative 1. And so then what I would need to have that happen would be what, negative three um, and an x. So that's what, negative six x squared, and that is positive nine x. So, so far we have negative nine, but I need negative 13. So I need to have what, negative four of them. So that's nine and four, yeah, negative that. So then this would be negative four and then this would be negative 8x, and then this would be positive 12. So I look at these two, awesome, I get an x. I have this one, awesome, I get a 12. And this would be my other factor so far. Then I need, whoops, then I need to actually factor that guy. So I have what, negative 4, negative 3, so that would be negative 4 and 1. So x minus 4 and x plus 1. So my other uh, roots would be what? Negative 1 would be the opposite of that. Positive 4 uh, would be the opposite of that one. And then the degree is the fourth degree or recognizing that I have four things here. Either one is fine. OK, so that is pretty cool. I've got my 1. I need a negative 1. I have my negative 3. I need a 1, 2, 3, 4. There's no repetition here, so there's no bounces. There's no triplicates, so there's no slowdowns. And it is a positive at the beginning, so I start up, and then I just kind of wind my way through until I get my answer there. So again, you could have divided that, and then again divided by that, and then factored. Or you could just multiply them first and do one division problem, and you're done. Kind of cool. Lots of options that you have here.